from 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Aero Coupe with a 383. Got exhaust cutouts on it. All right, so now we got the exhaust underneath the car. Here's one of the cutout DC gear drive motor that turns the exhaust cutout. If you get a closer look, you can see inside and see the valve itself. Once you hit that power switch, and it turns that valve and redirects the exhaust from going out the back of the car through the mufflers. And if you have catalytic converters, it redirects it to the sides of the car. And I believe it increases horsepower because whenever you flip that switch, you can definitely tell the difference in back pressure. These exhaust cutouts come from quick time performance. They have the high torque DC gear drive motor, the strongest valve motor on the market. So here's the electrical switch. It's a momentary toggle switch, adjustable from closed to wide open or anywhere in between. One switch that's going to control both of the valves. And there's two control boxes there and two fuses, of course, one for each one. There you can see I took the two control boxes and wrapped some electrical tape around them to keep them together. Run one to the ground and then one to your switched electrical supply, your 12 volt supply. Of course, you can go underneath the dash to your fuse panel and find out which one's a switched. You can turn the switch on and take your test light and go under there and check each one and then turn the switch off and check each one. But you can also check a wiring diagram. You know, you don't want to use one that's going to, you're going to end up blowing a fuse or something, but uh, just find the right wire to tap into. This video is not really exactly a how to do this, but I just wanted to show you how it sounds once you get this wired in and these things on the car sounds really good now i have everything connected it's time to test i'm gonna push the button up to where it says on and then you can hear it now i'll go ahead and put the camera down here as you can see the motor moves there it is opened up let's make sure it closes perfect all right, now I've got the engine running, obviously, and I haven't mounted the switch yet, but I wanted to do a little test with the engine running. It's gonna be loud. stuff tractors and classic cars restorations engine building all kinds of things i have working in my shop so stay tuned thanks so much for watching have a great day